even the HTML document works with just text and without any special tags, we do have what we call doc type, which describes what kind of documentation or rather what kind of document this is. Since this is an HTML document, we define at the top that it's an HTML document so that any software that handles this file knows that this is an HTML document and accordingly handles it. Let's see how do we add that doc type declaration. I'm just going to open a new file and edit that just to show. So the doc type declaration is done adding the tag doc type and say html. So if your file contains this at the top and it, it just means it's an HTML document. Now the whole HTML is contained within an HTML tag, whole HTML document. That's done by say like adding HTML tag and ending by HTML tag, right? And whatever your content is, is added here, the whole document's content. Now within HTML tag, we actually divide that into two parts. One is a head section and the one is a body section. Head section actually contains the metadata about the that will look like head and then you can in head and then there is body and ends with slash body. You should also notice that uh, HTML tags here are nestable. That means a tag can contain other tags and this gives a lot of power to HTML document the way you format it or the way you give instructions to it. right? Now, all your metadata about this document, whether it's the title of the document or you know what kind of styles it should have, etc., etc., are in the header section. The content of the document goes into body section actually. So this is the basic structure of the document. Now let's put this basic structure into our document, which we already opened. Yeah. So I'm gonna copy this, put it here. We have declared the doc type HTML, HTML tag, and I'm going to close the head, head tag. Since all of this is our content, I'm going to put that in inside a body tag. Right? I'm going to go to the end and add slash body and slash HTML to close this document. Right? Then I'm going to save this document and reload. As you can see, nothing changed. That's because we just defined the basic structure of this document. We are not given any more special instructions to tell how to format this. Let's see one of the examples what we can put inside the head tag. For example, here you can see document title is shown same as the file path. Let's say we want to change the document title, right? Then you can do that by adding a title tag starts with title and add say my first document slash title right and if I save this and refresh this you can see the title changed so now we are given instruction to say you know, change the title of this document to this and the browser is doing that we still have not given any instruction how to format this body Hence, it's still not doing anything. Everything is in one single lump, right? We'll see how to do that in the next part.